Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak is here in Singapore for a leader's retreat. He and his wife were welcomed by Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong and his wife at a private dinner tonight ahead of tomorrow's closed-door meetings. Now, you might remember a retreat in 2010 led to a major milestone being achieved when the two leaders reached an understanding on moving the points of agreement forward. And here's what we can expect this time. It's the fourth leader's retreat for both Prime Ministers. The two last met in Putrajaya in January 2012. And one key issue that was discussed then was expanding cooperation through joint projects between the two countries. I think it is the ongoing understanding that, uh, that Singapore and Malaysia do not exist just alone. You know, we are facing a greater competition from other countries economically. Within ASEAN countries itself, Singapore and Malaysia plays a very critical role. If the two countries cooperate together, in fact, it can move the whole ASEAN forward. The Iskandar project is another one that actually sort of as it's another catalyst you know, to bring the two countries together because we have common interests. It is one project that will benefit both countries, in, a, in both uh, for the people as well as for the country. The leaders will also bring with them a large delegation of ministers to further cooperation between both sides. During their retreat session in Putrajaya in January 2012, both the Prime Minister Lee Hsien Lung and his Malaysian counterpart decided that it would be a good idea that besides their closed-door meetings, it would also be good to go down to the sites to see at first hand how the projects being undertaken by both countries are progressing. While in Singapore, Mr Lee and Mr Najib will unveil the Marina One project in Marina Bay and receive an update on the duo project in Ophir Rocho. Both projects are mixed-use developments worth billions of dollars. Channel News Asia understands that the land parcel at Marina Bay is about 340,000 square meters, while the one at the Ophir Rocho site is about 160,000 square meters. The two leaders will then travel to Iskandar, Malaysia to unveil the urban wellness and resort wellness projects in Madini.